Welcome to the Next Level Facebook Ads Podcast with Phil Graham. We help you master Facebook ads and give you an unfair advantage over your competition. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Next Level Facebook Ads Podcast, episode 374. I'm Phil Graham. Today, I'm going to be sharing my top three favorite Facebook and Instagram ad objectives that I recommend you guys focus on right now. Now there are lots of great objectives and there's a place for every single one. But as of now, as of July, 2024, I've got three that are my favorite that I'm going to share with you guys today. Now I do get people that joke with me quite a bit saying every time I give an analogy, it's always a sports one. So this analogy is for you guys. This is going to be a clothing analogy. I want you guys to think of ad objectives like clothing that you wear. So imagine you're going to a wedding. You would have a certain outfit that you might wear going to a wedding or going to a a nice dinner, and you would have a completely different type of outfit that you would wear going to the gym. And it doesn't mean that one outfit is better than the other. They're better in their own circumstance, depending on what you need them for. And ad objectives are similar. It's not like there's only one that you could use and that's it. And you should never use any of the others ever. That's not the case. So it is a good idea to use different ad objectives depending on the situation. Again, today I'm gonna focus on my top three, but don't get into the habit of just essentially wearing the same outfit everywhere you go. Mix it up a little bit sometimes and see what happens because that can be something that can be really interesting and you'll be amazed at what you might find when you try it. So if you guys are in the U.S., I hope you had a great 4th of July. I'm glad you're here. Just a quick note, if you're looking for any one-on-one coaching so you can learn ads, one-on-one, in my opinion, it's the best way to learn it by far. So if you're looking for that, or if you're actually looking for somebody to run your ads for you so you don't have to worry about it, for either one of those things, you can just go to my website, philgramdigital.com, or DM me on Instagram at philgramdigital. And of course, I would love to connect with you. So I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to keep this short, sweet, full of value and very actionable, but these are important things that I definitely recommend you guys try. So let's dive in. First of all, the three objectives I'm going to share with you are equally important. And really the beauty of this is not just using a singular objective all the time forever. Although sometimes that can work. Like we have certain clients in certain situations where after we've done a certain amount of testing, we may only use one objective. But for the most part, we're testing different objectives in different situations. And it's the combination of running different ad objectives, whether it's at the same time or staggered through testing by themselves, but you are testing different ones. It's the combination of those things where they're working together that can sometimes be really effective, especially when you have the budget to do that all at once. But even if you have a smaller budget, You can certainly test different objectives one at a time, but doing that and then evaluating that data, that's where so much of the power comes in. So make sure you guys are doing that. So the three are number one, it's going to be obvious, but it's the sales objective. Of course, I'm sure most people would have guessed that sales obviously is optimized for purchases for people that want to buy something. So Facebook will try and find people that are more likely to purchase and convert, or at least their system thinks they might be more likely. And that is a really powerful objective. That is one of our go-to objectives, especially when there's already a lot of pixel action on the account, when there's already been a lot of purchases and the client has been running ads a long time. Sales is definitely a great objective. Now, there are times when it may not be the best objective, especially if it's not e-commerce and the transaction isn't taking place online. That's one good example. And sometimes when you're running this, you know, one potential downside is that the cost can sometimes be higher, but many times it's worth it because of the sales it can produce and create. So it's not just like a set it and forget it kind of a thing. You've got to look at it. You've got to look at your data and decide whether you keep using it or you use other things with it or instead of it. That's the same for all of these objectives and really for the ads that you run anyway. So you got to pay attention to that data. But obviously the sales objective is powerful. I do think some people make the mistake of really only doing that because everyone wants sales. So they just think that's the one I should use. But we've had plenty of situations where other objectives have gotten us more sales than using the sales objective. 
And if we didn't test that, we'd never, never would have known. So it's definitely my favorite objective, but it's not the only one we use. The second one I'm going to share with you guys today is traffic. Now, this is also one of my favorites. And this is great because you can still increase your sales using the traffic objective. It definitely does not always have to be the sales objective. So when you run the traffic objective, what you're doing is telling Facebook to optimize and get this in front of people in your audience that are more likely to click and go to your website, go to your landing page or sales page, whatever you're linking to. And that can be very powerful, especially when you have a good brand, when you have a good landing page or sales page, that can really do well. So this is one of those things where sometimes traffic converts better for us than sales. Traffic can also be really good if you do not have an e-commerce product, if transactions take place offline uh, and things like that, and, and, and other situations too. Sometimes newer accounts where you're trying to build things up, you want to get a lot of traffic to the website, get some attention, have sales start coming in, and then maybe you then switch it to a sales objective and test that. But do not sleep on that traffic objective because it's worked really well for us for a long time in many different situations. And then the last objective I want to share with you guys today is leads. The leads objective is really cool because it can allow you to build your list to warm up an audience and you can then turn that into sales potentially through retargeting, through emails and other things. And so that can be really powerful. Another thing I really like about the leads objective is depending on how you do it, it can sometimes take place 100% on Facebook or Instagram by using instant forms and lead forms right within Messenger or even the ad itself. So that can be really powerful. But we also use the leads objective where we send people to the website that has some kind of a form to fill in, whether it's a booking form or a download, whatever the case may be. Using that leads objective will put your ads in front of people that Facebook thinks has a better chance of actually converting into a lead. And that's something that has worked well for us as well. So these three core objectives, the sales, traffic, and leads, I definitely would try them all and test them all. Make sure you guys give them enough time. Don't just test them for like a day or anything like that. Give them some time, give them at least a couple of weeks and see how that does. Cause these are amazing objectives. All right, my friends, episode 374 is in the books. So glad you were here. The next episode is going to be great. We're going to be talking about why your Facebook ads might be failing despite having good ad metrics. So make sure you stay tuned for that next week. Again, if you want to get in touch, philgramdigital.com is the website, or you can DM me on Instagram at philgramdigital. And I will talk to you guys on next week's episode. Peace out. Thanks for listening to the Next Level Facebook Ads Podcast. Please remember to subscribe and share this with all your friends. For show notes, more tips, and to learn more about Phil, please visit philgramdigital.com slash podcast.